first thing I wanted to do as an editor when I purchased Camtasia 2 from Mac was to record, edit, and export 1080p HD video, you know, without it looking all fuzzy and crappy. Um, the Mac version of Camtasia is certainly limited. The PC version has a ton of extra features, but here's how we do it on Mac, or how I do it on Mac, and please comment below about anything that I've missed that has to do with uh, resolution for recording, editing, and exporting. So I'm going to go over here to the Canvas tab, and I'm going to make sure these both say 1080p, 1920 by 1080 widescreen 1080p 1920 by 1080. This is the standard for how big HD is nowadays. So this is what I choose. Uh, you might see some different dimensions here depending on your monitor size, but uh, this is the industry standard at the moment. So, and when I first purchased and opened Camtasia, these were not checked by default. It might have been 720p instead. You want to make sure you do all these settings before you do any recording. Next, next to the viewer, you're going to right click in this gray area and click on adjust canvas and make sure this says 1080p, maximum 1080p, 1920 by 1080. When people say 1080p, if you want like the real native 1080p, it's actually 1920 by 1080. There's other forms of uh, 1080 HD. So now that I have my preferences and now that I have my canvas adjusted, um, now I'm going to stop recording and bring the video that I'm recording right now down the timeline. Now I've hit record again. Here's Camtasia and here's the clip that I just recorded. I wanted to do as an editor when I purchased Camtasia 2. This video in the timeline is 1080, and this canvas is 1080, so we're maintaining pixel for pixel resolution, which is good news. Now I want to export this so I can upload it to YouTube. So I go to Share. I want to go Advanced Export. I think by default it might be set to MPEG4, MP4. Either way, change that over to .move.mov and click on Options. You want your frame rate to match whatever your frame rate is in the Camtasia preferences, okay? So this depends on what you're recording at. There's no better or worse setting. There's a correct or incorrect setting. Compression type H.264, it works fine. I'm not sure if you have Apple ProRes on your computer or not. I definitely have it because I have other video editing programs on here. Either way, I'm not going to use them because the file sizes are so outrageously huge, it just doesn't make sense for my hard drive space. I have terabytes of hard drive space. I don't want to clog it up with simple recordings that H.264 works for, but that doesn't mean there's not a time and place for these. Um, a 20-minute video of H.264 might be like a gigabyte after you export it. A 20-minute video Apple Pro Res might be like 20 gigabytes. So that's just an example. Frame rate, I believe 24 is the default. I did change it around a little bit, but I brought it back to 24. Um, it's up to you if you want to adjust this uh, better for worse, uh, lower or higher. If you see issues with your video, you can play with that. But whatever the default is, it's probably going to work unless you're doing something very specific. Most important, make sure your dimensions match your canvas and your recording and your timeline size, which is, again, 1920 by 1080. This is the true 1080p. You don't have to select preserve aspect ratio. I do, and I select a letterbox. The only reason why I do that is in case I did something wrong on accident, I will see a letterbox later and know that there's something wrong. Since everything is 1920 by 1080 across the board, we should see no letterbox, and that's why I check it just to see if I, uh, if I made any errors or not. Um, I, I want to encode audio, and I'm not going to enable smoothing, but if you see some you know, artifacts in your video, you might want to re-export your video enabling smoothing just to see if those artifacts go away or not. I have no issues. Everything looks good for the tutorial videos I've been capturing, so I'm going to choose that. 
Let me just select my desktop. I'll just keep it as an untitled movie. I'm going to export this. Keep in mind that all the settings that I just went over, you're going to want to do this before you do any recording. So start a new project. Make those settings in your preferences and on the canvas before you do any recording. Here's my untitled video I just exported. There's the dimensions of HD right there. Let's play it real quick. I'm going to go to full screen. And let me just look around. As you can see, this looks pretty clear. Slightly compressed, but still it's very sharp looking. This is how I generically get 1080p across the board recorded edited and exported and looking good ready to be uploaded to YouTube or wherever you desire. Thanks for watching.